Hello, it's Ryan Kennedy. Let's talk today about the shot you see on tour, the low spinning wedge. You know the one. If you've been to a tour event before, you've seen the guys hit this shot. They're standing about 30 to 60 yards from the green with the wedge. They make a nice compact swing, and the ball comes out so low, and you think, my gosh, did they skull it? But then it lands, skips once or twice, and checks hard right next to the flag. So now that we all know what shot we're talking about, it's the most fun shot you see on TV. Let's take a closer look at how to hit this shot. Although it's certainly important to have a little bit more of your weight on your lead foot than your trailing foot, the key feature to notice in the address position is the placement of the hands out in front of the golf ball. This is to mimic the position we want the club to be in at impact. Moving further into the motion, let's keep an eye on the wrists, and you'll notice that as soon as the club begins to be taken away, the right hand, the wrists are hinging, and as you get further into the shot, you'll see even more hinge occur right here in what is called the down cock, and that is when the club changes direction and the amount of rather the angle in between the shaft and the lead forearm increases due to the change in direction. Now as we come in to impact, what I, I think you'll see is the right hand is certainly releasing down into the ball on a sharp descending blow. Let's get a little closer and you'll see it. this is certainly on the, on the way down, catches the ball crisply, generates a whole lot of speed by releasing again into the ball. But note, after the ball, the release stops. We do not see the right hand flipping over the left hand in this shot. Rather, pre-impact, it's all right hand, and then it turns into the upper body to keep the hands from flipping over. Thanks for tuning in. Give this a try, and I know you'll get better at the low spinning wedge shot. I know it helped me.